Welcome to Nursing Prep. Push yourself in nursing preparation with smart way. Practice this quiz on www.thestudyblog.com. Patient positioning. Nurse Aaron is inserting a nasogastric tube to a stroke client. He understands that the best position for the insertion is Option A. Low Fowlers. Option B. Sims position. Option C. Trendelenburg. Option D. High Fowlers. Right answer is Option D. High Fowlers. The best position during a nasogastric tube insertion is sitting or high fowler's position in order to prevent the risk of aspiration. Nurse Monica is handling a female client who had undergone a mastectomy. Which is the best position in which she should place the client? Option A. Head of bed elevated at least 30 degrees with the affected arm elevated on a pillow. Option B. Forward side lying position. Option C. Supine position with the affected arm remain flat. Option D. Head of bed elevated at least 30 degrees with the unaffected arm elevated on a pillow. Right answer is. Option A. Head of bed elevated at least 30 degrees with the affected arm elevated on a pillow. Position a post mastectomy client with the head of bed elevated at least 30 degrees, with the affected arm elevated on a pillow to promote lymphatic fluid return after the removal of axillary lymph nodes. A nurse is caring for a client with severe burns of the face and head. The nurse will place the client in which position? Option A. Trendelenburg. Option B. Head of bed elevated. Option C. Supine position. Option D. Prone position. Right answer is. Option B. Head of bed elevated. For clients with burns on the face and head, the best position is to elevate the head of bed to reduce the occurrence of facial edema. Which of the following does not match with the appropriate position? Option A. Vaginal examination, lithotomy position. Option B. Thyroidectomy, Fowler's position. Option C. Hemorrhoidectomy, lateral position. Option D. Hypophysectomy, prone position. Right answer is. Option D. Hypophysectomy, prone position. Hypophysectomy is the surgical removal of the hypophysis, pituitary gland. After the surgery, the client head of bed is elevated to prevent increased intracranial pressure. Nurse Ian is handling a client with gastroesophageal reflux disease. Which of the following position will best help the client in this case? Option A. Right lateral recumbent. Option B. Supine position. Option C. Reverse Trendelenburg position. Option D. Sims position. Right answer is. Option C. Reverse Trendelenburg position. Reverse Trendelenburg position is advised to a client to promote gastric emptying and prevent gastroesophageal reflux. A client with pleural effusion is scheduled to have a thoracentesis. The nurse on duty will assist the client to which position during the procedure. Option A. Lying in bed on the unaffected side with head of bed elevated about 45 degrees. Option B. Forward side lying position with head of bed flat. Option C. Lying in bed on the affected side with head of bed elevated about 45 degrees. Option D. Supine position with both arms extended. Right answer is. Option A. Lying in bed on the unaffected side with head of bed elevated about 45 degrees. During thoracentesis, to facilitate removal of pleural fluid from the pleural space, position the client sitting on the edge of the bed, leaning over a bedside table with the feet supported on a stool, or lying in bed on the unaffected side with head of bed elevated about 45 degrees. Nurse Maria is administering a cleansing enema to a client with severe constipation. She will place the client in which position? Option A. Low Fowler's position. Option B. High Fowler's position. 
ऑप्शन सी लेफ्ट सिम्स पोजिशन ऑप्शन डी राइट सिम्स पोजिशन राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी लेफ्ट सिम्स पोजिशन ड्यूरिंग अ क्लेंजिंग एनेमा प्लेस द क्लाइंट इन द लेफ्ट सिम्स पोजिशन टू अलाउ द सोल्यूशन टू फ्लो बाय ग्रेविटी इन द नेचुरल डायरेक्शन ऑफ द कोलॉन वॉट टाइप ऑफ क्लाइंट वुड बेनिफिट द मोस्ट फ्रॉम एन एलिवेटेड हेड ऑफ द बेड पोजिशन ऑप्शन ए पेशेंट हु हैड अ हेमरोयडेक्टमी ऑप्शन बी पेशेंट हु हैड अ लर्नजेक्टमी ऑप्शन सी पेशेंट हु हैड अ लिवर बायोप्सी ऑप्शन डी पेशेंट हु हैड अ लंबर पंक्चर राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी पेशेंट हु हैड अ लर्नजेक्टमी प्लेस अ पोस्ट लर्नजेक्टमी क्लाइंट विद हेड ऑफ बेड एलिवेटेड एट थर्टी टू फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज टू मेंटेन अ पेटेंट एयर वे एंड रिड्यूस डीमा ऑप्शन हेमरोयडेक्टमी सुपाइन पोजिशन लिवर बायोप्सी राइट साइड लाइन पोजिशन लंबा पंक्चर सुपाइन पोजिशन फॉर एट लीस्ट फोर आवर्स Nurse Justin is taking care a client with deep vein thrombosis which position should be provided to the client option a bed rest with the affected extremity remain flat at all times option b bed rest with the unaffected extremity on top of the affected extremity option c bed rest with the affected extremity in a dependent position option d bed rest with the affected extremity elevated right answer is option d bed rest with the affected extremity elevated bed rest is indicated to prevent emboli while the elevation of the affected leg facilitates blood flow by the force of gravity and reduces pain and edema nurse sandra had just received a post operative total hip replacement client from the recovery unit which is the best position in which she should place the client option a side lying with the affected leg externally rotated option b side lying with the affected leg internally rotated option c on the non operative side with the legs abducted option d on the non operative side with the legs abducted right answer is option c on the non operative side with the legs abducted abduction is maintained when the client is in a supine position or positioned on the non operative side a client has just returned to a nursing unit after a cardiac catheterization performed using the femoral artery the nurse places the client in which position option a bed rest with head elevation at 30 degrees option b bed rest with head elevation at 45 degrees option c bed rest with head elevation at 60 degrees option d bed rest with head elevation at 90 degrees right answer is option a bed rest with head elevation at 30 degrees during a cardiac catheterization if the femoral artery was accessed for the procedure The client is maintained on bed rest for 4 to 6 hours and the affected extremity is maintained straight and the head is elevated of no more than 30 degrees. A nurse is preparing to care for a client who had undergone an above knee amputation of the right leg. The nurse plans to allow which position for the client on the first 24 hours? Option A. Supine position with the affected limb flat on the bed. Option B. supine position with the affected limb supported with pillows option c prone position with the affected limb on a dependent position option d trendelenburg's position right answer is option b supine position with the affected limb supported with pillows the amputated limb is usually supported with pillows on the first post op day to promote venous return and reduces edema a client is to be on a bed rest for 24 hours and the affected extremity is to be kept straight during this time which of the following procedure would require a client to do the above option a varicose vein surgery option b myelogram option c abdominal aneurysm resection option d arterial vascular grafting right answer is option d 
arterial vascular grafting. To promote graft patency after the procedure, bed rest is maintained for the first 24 hours and the affected extremity is kept straight. Which is the best position for a client with autonomic dysreflexia? Option A. Sims position. Option B. Fowler's position. Option C. Semi Fowler's position. Option D. High Fowler's position. Right answer is Option D. High Fowler's position. Autonomic dysreflexia is a condition in which there is a sudden onset of excessively high blood pressure. If it occurs, immediately place the client in a high Fowler's position to promote adequate ventilation and assist in the prevention of a hypotensive stroke. A nurse is caring for a client who has returned to the recovery unit following a craniotomy. The nurse can safely place the client in which of the position? Option A. Trendelenburg position. Option B. Fowler's position with the head leaning on the left side. Option C. Semi Fowler's position with the head in a midline position. Option D. Supine position with the neck flexed. Right answer is Option C. Semi Fowler's position with the head in a midline position. Post craniotomy client should be placed in a semi Fowler's position and the head is in a midline position to facilitate venous drainage from the head. Thanks for watching. You can also practice this quiz on www.thestudyblog.com link in description box. If you have any doubt ask in comment section and you like our video then do like, comment, share. Subscribe our channel for regular updates.